Hello everybody, this is Rick Ray from rickrayfx.com and usually I do a live Facebook at 7 p.m. Monday to Friday but for some reason this Monday today the 20th of July we had some kind of connection problems and nobody could hear me so I'm making this short video to do the usual analysis that I would have done on live Facebook and hope that this might help you just a little bit uh, I start off with the pound New Zealand okay and uh, on my the technicals that I use uh, it is very bearish it has been very bearish but at the moment it's actually neutral so I am not trading the pound New Zealand okay and as you can see today it has made quite a big move up and it's very very overbought so it's at about 98 on the stochastic so if you wanted to go short I would wait and see if it's going to continue up to 1.9278 then you could go short there and that's very very likely to come back down to 1.9156 because for several months the pound New Zealand has been very bearish but we're seeing this big move up today then the UJ is neutral okay so for me when I see something neutral on my technicals it's no trade although the sellers are in control the bears have control of the price and it looks like they're likely to push this down to at least 106.85 so if you wanted to go short on the UJ and take profit at 106.85 uh, for me though when I see something neutral for me that's no trade the USD CAD is also neutral on the long-term chart so for me again that's no trade the pound US is very very interesting wow look at this <laughs> this started out this morning going down and it reached a strong support level down here about 1.2515 and then has just been going up all day long and it's at a very very high resistance level but we shouldn't be so surprised because it was at this number uh, just last Wednesday it got up to 1.2652 and it looks like it's going to reach that again today 1.2652 on the stochastic it's very very overbought it's at uh, 96 on the stochastic so the pound US is bullish okay long term it's bullish so for me I won't take this counter trend trade that's that's likely to hit this very very high resistance point and then start to come down so if it gets to 1.2652 or you see evidence of selling coming in then you can go short there and it's very very likely that this will come down at least back down to 1.2551 where you could take profit the odd US is bullish long term and starting to move up and it looks like this evening it's likely to go at least up to 0 0.7026 and a good entry point is is just past the good entry point right here on this dotted line where I have 0 0.6994 okay so uh, even now to, to go long on the odd US and then take profit at 0 0.7026 and the New Zealand US is also bullish so you could take profit right now it's just gone past the entry point which is at uh, 0 0.6558 I believe that is and just this dashed, dashed line that I have here and then that's likely to go at least up to 0 0.6585 so you could take profit there but it's been bullish all day it's slightly overbought 83 on the stochastic so we're likely to see as the buyers definitely the bulls have control of price likely to keep pushing this on up uh, to the next resistance level 0 0.6585 euro us okay the euro us has reached a previous high where it was four months ago at uh, 1.1 i think that was four seven uh, let me just double check that one point one four six seven okay this is where it has been four months ago and previous to that it was a year and four months ago that it was this high so what I'm saying is that we are at extreme highs with the euro US 
and now you're seeing it could not go any higher and it's starting to pull back so you could go short even now on the euro US and then take profit down around 1.1394 1 1.1394 short on the euro US although it is bullish but we're definitely going to see this to pull back as it has not been able to break above these previous highs and gold oh gold wow it hit 1818 already and starting to pull back now so I had two long trades I went long at 1806 and then I got out at 18 uh, 1811 1812 but it has continued up and that's okay all right, I took my profit at 1812. We never know if it's going to continue moving in the same direction. It's always, you can always take your profit anytime you want. So all I do is I, I pat myself on the back. I got two good trades in profit and I will look for another trade set up. Don't worry about that it keeps going up. Oh, I should have held on to that a little bit longer. Never mind. Okay, you're not going to get every pip of every move. All right. So for this one, my next plan for gold, I have a buy limit at 1808. This is the first support level. After it gets up here and it starts to pull back and come down, this is the next support level, 1808. So that's where I will go long again. Now if it breaks through that, which it did on uh, Thursday last week, I have another buy limit at six, uh, 1801. Okay, 1801. So this one will execute when it gets here, and if it continues down, I will take another long trade at 1801, and then ride that back up for profit. That's the way I'm trading gold, is waiting for the pullbacks. Okay, if, you, if you, it gets up here and you start to see selling evidence coming in, you start to see it moving down, you can go short, but that's a counter trend trade, and I prefer not to make counter trend trades. I would rather wait for it to come down here, see if it will come down here, all right, and then uh, go long once it does bounce off of support. Okay, so a very brief video, and I'm sorry about whatever happened tonight with Facebook. I will see you guys again tomorrow, Tuesday at 7 p.m., and we hope that our connection will be working and everybody will be able to hear, and we'll be back to uh, back on track for our usual uh, 7 p.m. routine. Okay, thanks for watching this. Take care, guys. Have a good evening, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.